Hi guys, Easy Homeschooler here. Today I want to show you a couple of things that have helped to keep my homeschool life organized. Um, one of those things that I really absolutely recommend for every homeschool parent is to start with a lesson plan book or uh, a daily planner. So I have just here a basic daily planner. Okay, mine is just the homeschool daily planner for um, curriculum. I got this at a curriculum fair, but you can get these, you know, at most homeschool fairs, or you can order them. There are websites that you can order these from. I'll have to find you some links. But what I like about this particular planner is that um, you have a calendar, so you can see everything at a glance, which helps a lot when you're planning field trips and that kind of thing. Also, I like that there is a reading list for your children. As you can see, I've not filled this out yet because that's one of my goals for 2012. Um, there are places for where you can place your extracurricular activities, what each child is doing for fun outside of school or integrated as part of their school. There's a little spot for test scores. And there's a lot of space for the test scores, so you have plenty of places to um, record test scores. And I use that mostly for Saxon math, um, since we don't do a lot of, you know, tests per se. Um, so, and the the part the part that I use the most is the daily lesson plan part. And they give you examples um, in the front couple of pages on how to use them. But it's really simple. They have uh, two columns, and I have one column for each child. So I'm also recording my my four-year-old's um, progress as well. So I have a column for her and a column for my nine-year-old. And it's broken down by day of the week. I like that layout. Um, just because I have two children, it's perfect for me to have each child have their own column. And I typically use it. Uh, as a lesson planner, you know, so I'll place in each box what I want them to do for that day. But, you know, as they, at, by the end of the day, you know, whatever they have done, I will check off or uh, erase the check mark or what, what have you, and so that it shows what they've done. If they haven't done it, I just erase it. And then I put it on my agenda for the next day. So it's a really simple process for me to use a notebook like this. So for all of you hands-on users, got to get your hands on something. This is a type of a homeschool planner that may work well for you. I'm also into technology and a lot of you probably would rather something that rather have something that you can use online. There is a great program out there called Homeschool Tracker and you can go to let's see homeschooltracker.com and when you get there you'll find that you're able to download a free trial version that's the version I'm using I haven't upgraded yet but I think that I will invest in that um, a little later right now I'm doing good with just the the basic version and also combined with my handy hands-on tool here so but if you go to homeschooltracker.com, go ahead and download the free version. It allows you to do a lot of things. You can create assignments for your kids. You can um, track their field trips. Um, there's teacher journals, which is basically what I've been using in my hard copy here, is to journal what they've been doing each day. Uh, and the, the really cool part about, oh, and grades, you know, of course, assignments, book lists, that kind of thing. Everything is there. And the cool thing about it is, once you've typed it in, it's there on your hard drive. You don't have to worry about losing a notebook or, or a, a hard copy planner. It's there on your hard drive. And you can print out what you need. So if you really need to have a notebook that you can carry around with you or show um, your cover school or, your, um, or whatever you're using, your private satellite school or what have you, then you can print out what you need and send it or or you know, keep a copy of it in, in a notebook. So those are some ideas for just keeping track of what your kids are doing. And you don't have to be perfect about keeping track. You know, you don't have to, like, really nail it every single day. But it's nice when you can record what they've been doing or at least have a journal, a, um, 
portfolio of some of the work they've done. So just keeping track of kind of where, where your kids are and not letting you know too many days pass between recording what they've done for, for their subject matter helps a lot, especially if you're living in a state where it's crucial that you have a very have a strategy for keeping up with your children's work so you can have something to show people if they need if there were ever a situation where you needed to show what your kids were doing at home that you would have uh, your your records available so oh the other thing about homeschool tracker is that you can um, create transcripts so that's another thing to look into that software for so if you've got a high schooler, you may want to consider something like that software, Homeschool Tracker. All right, so that's all I have for you now, and I'll be back later. Thanks. Bye.